We're gonna snag Dutch Luke on his walk. Hello. Hi, how are Hi. you doing? Good, how about you? Good. How's your day going? So far so good. Can we Fair stop enough. you for 10 seconds and sure. ask you sort of to introduce yourself a little bit? I'm Tassa Duke. I work on the service fabric and then one of the things that we own is the warp clusters that are managed clusters that we have for internal customers within Azure. Nice. We support CRP, NRP and other core services within our warp clusters. Cool, cool. Thank you. Great yeah, to meet absolutely. you. You want yeah. to translate that? Yeah. So, um, as Tassa Duke mentioned, we Service fabric is the reason, or is the way in which a lot of Azure works today. A lot mm -hmm. of Azure's cores operate on service fabric clusters, and the way in which we do that is we host multi-tenant clusters that we help manage. Mm -hmm. uh, so service fabric stands up a few clusters, which were the warp clusters, um, mm -hmm. and teams around Azure will come and deploy their workloads on them. Uh, that reduces some of you know the need for them to learn how to manage clusters and stand up their own clusters. It's also a little bit more efficient from like a cost perspective if we're able to build a proper multi-tenant solution. So these guys just isolate their code, run it on the same clusters, and we help manage those clusters. And that's the team is responsible for making sure those are up and running effectively, constantly, and that is the way in which you know Azure delivers a lot of its services that you guys are used to using today. Absolutely. Yeah. Right on. Cool. All right. So what's, uh, what's let's back? go see Oana? and see if Iwana's there. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I want to introduce you to the world. She's like, I'm tired. No, I just ate an orange. I'm like... Mm. Perfect, so you're energized. <laughs> yeah. So who are you? I'm Wana. Wana? Yeah. Okay. I'm a lead. I own the image store and management related areas. Nice. So, um, Wana is also famous for getting immense amounts of mileage out of her tea bags. Yeah. She should out of her tea bags? This. Explain. Yeah. Explain. I don't like the tea to have too much caffeine, so I take one tea bag uh -huh. and I make about 12 cups out of the same tea bag. Yeah. Are you kidding? Nope. <laughs> I mean, How does it taste by, ba by, by poor 12? <laughs> Amazing. Really? <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you catch her, you know, walking down the hall, she'll have two cups in her left hand and one in the right hand. Mm -hmm. And I asked her once, I was like, why don't you just stack four cups? And she's like, this way I can sip one while I'm walking with the other two. Amazing. And so she'll be solving immensely complicated problems in her head about you know, how can we actually deploy applications as service fabric? You bring something to the image store, you're like, I need to provide like the updated status of what this application looks like before it can be rolled across the cluster. And then she's drinking like 17 cups of tea in a day at the same time. Same, like, tea bag. It's like, 17 cups of tea with one bag. Actually, there are 12. This is 12, 12 or 13. But I think you like to improvise a yeah. little bit <laughs> and make it, you know, funner, more richer. That's impressive. So in the open source, uh, Source, prod, source, where's your folder? Well, uh, inside management, I have a couple. So there's a health manager that I own, uh, cluster manager. There's also source naming. And then at a management, you will have faster service. You'll have image store. So wow. A couple. That's a lot. So is it mainly like native code, C++, as you spend most of your time? Mostly on? native code. OK. Because I've been looking at it. It's, it's pretty. It's nice. Modern. Modern. Modern-ish. 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 <laughs> There's some fun with uh, variadic templates uh, that hasn't been done that's going to be done. right? So you don't have to have like the manual expansion, uh -huh. arg0, arg1, arg2, arg3, arg4, arg5, and multiple of the same functions, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Yeah, cool. Right on. Hey, well, great to meet you. I know, she's busy. And how, what, so how many cups have you had at this point in the day? I'm, what are you I'm, on? I'm going towards the 12s. You really? Yeah. Impressive. You're totally I mellow. I think it's formulaic at this point, yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah. She's cool. got it down to a T. Hey, great to meet you. Same here. We'll come back and talk to you a little bit more about what's going on in those folders. Okay. Right on. Cheers. See ya. See ya. That is an awesome desktop. So we're back to the PM pod. Okay. You've been here a couple times. Yeah, but last time we didn't have any sound. We didn't have any sound, this is true. But this we time it was a couple more people, too. Yeah, we no. missed out on the whole recording. Should we introduce you guys to Mark today? Hi, Hi. Mark. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Doing great. Yeah. So you've been on Service Fabric for what, nine years, ten years? Nine years, yes. Started wow. Started the project back in 2009, along with GoPal. I've, okay. uh, we kind of had a... He, he built the cloud database project, which mm -hmm. was taking SQL Server to the cloud, and they did that from 2007 to 2009. I started a thing called App Fabric, which was, let's just not talk about that too much. <laughs> okay. um, but then I teamed up with him in 2009. Yeah, we started App Service Fabric. Awesome. In order to get a platform for the company. Good. Great. And, you know, now it's open source. Now it's open source, yeah. And so, like, the first few years, it was build a platform, 
get it to internal teams right. like our early users was uh, what was called um, Link at the time, yes? Okay. Skype for business now. Yes, exactly. And they were one of our early adopters and then it went to Stream Analytics um, and a whole bunch of other teams. Of course, the SQL guys then picked it up and moved over to it all, so they were our big users. Mm. Um, and then 2014, we were, actually the plan was always to build a platform for the company okay. and to uh, provide a, uh, a platform for the rest of the world. Because yeah, internal, in the end, when Microsoft Teams build applications, they're not greatly different from what the rest of the world does mm -hmm. in terms of how you build it. So, you know, the plan was so we designed it. Like when we looked at the APIs, when we looked at how we were doing declarative nature of the applications itself, it was make sure that we had can give this platform away. And mm -hmm. so, you know, that was why it was so good for us. And we eventually open sourced it. You know, yes. that was always the intention. Yeah. So, yeah, 2014, we gave it to the world for the first time. Uh -huh. And you know, that's. You know, in three years now it's been out there, so it's been pretty good. Yeah, Absolutely. Pretty good. And where do you go from here? You've open sourced it, made it available to the public. What, what are the next steps? Well, ideally, of course, what happens is you know, you know, we get people from the community embracing it and giving us some feedback and helping drive the agenda themselves. That's what we want to see. Mm. You know, and getting our development team to build that as well. I mean, that's the key that we have to get to. I imagine after that, what I would like to see that it gets to some foundation, you know, and things like that, and then that gets picked up. And really, it becomes a thing that gets taken more broadly. Um, you know, it's, it's wherever you want to run it, everything from on-premise all the way through to, who knows? You know, other cloud providers might want to embrace it and host a service one day. Absolutely, that's what I imagine it would want to do. <laughs> General purpose distributed systems platform. Yeah, from any, Microsoft. Any cloud, any OS. Any cloud. Yeah. Any we're planet, about <laughs> interplanetary, Any planet, yes. man. Yeah, actually, the next. We thing don't talk enough about that. Well, what we should do, of course, is have replication across planets. Yes. Yeah, so the next thing is to set up a base on Mars. Yeah. That we replicate to and run <laughs> probably on a moon somewhere of Saturn, and between you yeah. know, Titan. Actually, no, that's no good. So probably between are you Titan will be good in about a million years. Yeah, Maybe probably between ten million Europa, years. Europa, <laughs> uh, Mars, and Earth. There's and three three planets or two planets, one moon, in order to do replication. And latency will be low, right? Because yeah, it's so traveling through a vacuum anyway. So yeah, yeah you have. Like speed of light. Yeah, you have ridiculously fast like, yeah. response. You don't faster. need an express route up there. Like. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no, no, hang on, you have a 20 minute light round trip to Mars, so yeah. it'll be pretty bad. Well, okay, <laughs> we're going to modify the lease layer a little bit to wait for but, more yeah, than 30 seconds. Yeah. Sure. Astro all right. Earth, cool. Well, we'll stop on <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> all right, nice to meet you. <laughs> we met you last time with no sound. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm Sravan. I'm a new member on the team. Uh, going to be working on monitoring and diagnostics for service fabric. Right on. Been on the team for like four weeks now. Cool. Are you a college hire? No, I um, was a college hire a few years ago though. Cool. I was going to say, you're definitely, you're young. So you guys, <laughs> do you, young uh, faces you of service the fabric. person on the team? Yes. He hasn't officially started yet. But oh, you're not here yet. officially started. Right on, man. Nice Who are you? you? My nice name is you. Alex. Alex. I started at Microsoft three months ago, and I officially start here next week. Nice, but you're such a go-getter. You're gonna, you're here already. Here yeah. already. Rock on, man. Yeah. That's nice. And let's see, this guy. I call him this guy. Hey, Gerald. My name's Sedonma. <laughs> how are you, man? Uh, used to be the newest until these two guys came in. So how does that feel when you're no longer the newest? Well, I kind of feels like. Uh, Kind of sucks, you know. I can't use the new guy card anymore. And I actually have to know my stuff. So. He's already adopted the wardrobe. Like, there's nothing new left anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I mean, you're just, you're you're just like in here wearing the shirt all the time. Totally. I, uh, and I think people are noticing sort of deep style, right? He's the vest. Yes, always. Deep always, always rocks the vest. vest. Yes. Right on. Always wears the vest. So what do you work on exactly? So I work on Service Fabric's Java offering, and I also help out with the Linux distros. Nice. Yeah. So uh, helping drive the Red Hat, Red Hat, and other distros. Yeah. Cool. It's all right. Yeah, Red Hat's tons a of fun. great word, man. We're really excited uh, for the progress we're making in that space. You know, okay. like a lot of the work we've done has been Windows dedicated, but we should not be thought of as only Windows oriented. We have a lot of great stuff on Linux, and it's mm -hmm. only going to get better thanks yeah. to this man's efforts. Especially sure. now that we have open source the product, you need yeah. to really take into account like the way the open source ecosystem works, and you know they use or they use Macs for development, and then all the Linux distros need to be supported as well. So, yeah. right on. Well, great work. Yeah, tons of fun stuff. All right, yeah. so we're going to now go talk to 
Vaz. Yes, we're going to talk to Mr. Vaslav Turichek. Yes, he was talking about open source. Yes. <laughs> let's go. Straight from the club. We'll just walk. You know what? He's with Manny right now. Oh, let's go to them. So, That's yeah, there's no. They, their meeting is going way over. So, it's time to open yeah. the door and just rock it. Yeah. Just go this is what we do at my. Hey, there's Matt. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, 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 so, your time to interrupt. Morning, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good day is good evening. Really? 2 p.m. Okay, cool. Dude, How are you? Yeah. Look at that shirt. Perfect. Matt has so, the greatest shirts in this okay. entire Tell us every about day. It. Uh, so basically, if you you know <laughs> music festivals, <clears throat> artists you've never heard of, mm -hmm. or planets that are made up by somebody or the other in some sci-fi world is oh, featured yeah, constantly. A couple of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this man is a walking billboard for things interesting and unknown. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then like every now and then you'll wear something that like somebody notices. Like there was once he was wearing this artist that I thought nobody had heard of, but I really liked. Mm -hmm. And then it just becomes a point of conversation. Polish ambassador. Yeah, that's Polish awesome. Yeah. One of nice. Guys. It's a good call. Yeah, that's a great call. Yeah, that's cool. Fantastic. Go listen to Polish ambassador. Right on. So, <laughs> so Matt, what do you what do you typically do? That's what would you say you do great here? Great question. Yeah. Uh, I wish I knew. Uh, so, program manager. So what I do you mean, not do? What do I not do? That's even worse. Uh, so, I mainly work on the. Uh, kind of core runtime aspects of Service Fabric. So that's failover manager, replication, the cluster resource manager, dabble in naming, do some stuff in hosting, keep track of the federation tier, uh, kind of all over the place. I've been on the team for seven or eight years. That's yeah. amazing. So I've at some point had my fingers in almost every little pie. That's cool. Um, so we're definitely going to get you, uh, the idea is to do an introduction to the source code. Oh yeah. So it's like a lap around Service fabric, sure. the source code. Sure, you can take us through and just be like, give us a sense of like the architecture. So when we first yeah. hit the GitHub repo, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. It would be yeah. nice to have a little bit of like, all right, here's where all the cool stuff is, <laughs> which is what you just said. Sure, that's like the essence of the distributed system. Yeah, right? the core bits, yeah. the infrastructure. So right on, man. Great to meet you. You yeah. also do a lot of. Uh, uh, there's a couple talks that he's yeah, on Matt's, Channel Nine. Uh, Matt's, oh yeah. yeah, I've been around. Uh, I've been around. He's He'll been be on. We'll yeah. see you around. Yeah, we'll see you. Dude. We'll see him around. Yeah, Do you want to see us just walk into this, these guys' meetings and like not knock on the door? Or? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll I'll listen for the screams. We just went around and met some. Now you of course look super familiar because .NET native and other things you've been on Channel Nine. But everybody, that's Manny. Hello. And now you're on the Service Fiber team. What do you drive? I'm on the Service Fabric team. I work on the application platforms for Service Fabric and um, work on some of the Linux containers and all those things as well. Absolutely. And this gentleman over here we call Voz. Hello, I'm Voz. Nice to meet you. So, Mr. Open Source. Yes. The face of right. open source. Yes. Of all open source <laughs> everywhere. No, the whole open the source. Service fabric. Come on. All open source, yes. There he is. Mr. Voslav open true. source through a channel. Really, that's not true. Right on. Uh, but we did open source service fabric, so that was cool. Cool. And we're going to have a conversation least, about that. We're going to have a conversation about that, yeah. Um, at least this is kind of the starting point. Yeah. So we're, we're officially under an MIT license, so there's that part. But we're still working on getting ourselves out onto GitHub to do, you know, open development. Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll be a journey, but it's a it's it's the right thing to do. It's a fun one. Cool. Yeah. Well, that was fun to just bust into somebody's meeting. Yeah, yeah thanks for that. Typically yeah, at Microsoft, polite. people yeah. are very We're polite. Still on the phone, so uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> right on, guys. Thanks for taking us around as Take usual. Care. Good luck.